In this video, I'd like to introduce a new ionization technique, direct probe ionization for mass spectrometer. What is DPIMS? It is a MS system incorporating with direct probe ionization technique. The mass spectrometer can be single quadrupole, triple quadrupole or quadrupole time of flight. This new ionization technique was developed by Professor Kenzo Hiraoka at the University of Yamanashi in Japan. The technique was called Probe Electrospray Ionization or PESI. The probe is a sharp metal needle, moving up and down during analysis. It touches with the sample and brings sample up, a high voltage is applied that cause electrospray ionization occurs. This slide further explains how does the PESI works. 10 microliter of liquid sample is loaded onto a sample plate. The metal needle moved down to picks up 5 to 10 picoliter of the sample every time, and ionization takes place in the high voltage electrical field. The ion formed are protonated ion in positive mode or deprotonated in negative mode. The ionization time for each sampling is 1130 millisecond. If the MS scan speed is 500 millisecond per scan, we can obtain two spectra for every sampling. Multiple sampling and analysis are the standard operation mode for DPIMS. The analysis mode of DPIMS can be scan mode, product ion scan mode, SIM mode and MRM mode depending on the analysis purpose. Scan and product ion scan method are used for detection of compounds for confirmation and identification. SIM and MRM methods are used for quantitation. DPIMS is convenient for quantifying multiple analytes in samples. Here is an example. A mixed sample containing five veterinary drugs were analyzed with an MRM method. The results show that the linearity between 1 ppb and 50 ppb is greater than 0.99 for every compound. Application of DPIMS is driven by the key features. For example, since no or simple sample pretreatment is required, analysis by DPIMS is fast and easy, and it is suitable for monitoring composition change with time. No heating in ionization, DPIMS is therefore suitable for analysis of thermal labile compounds. The sampling amount is at picoliter level. Contamination is minimized. Therefore, DPIMS can be a robust solution for the routine analysis of high complexity matrices, such as blood, urine, or food samples. Moreover, direct sampling from solid samples causes minimal destruction. This enables analysis live tissues or cells. There are many application notes, booklets and research paper published in the last few years. These application notes and papers could be references for using DPIMS for various samples in chemical analysis, food composition, forensic science and life sciences applications etc. Here is the first example, using DPIMS for screening of 9 illicit drugs in different types of samples. Sample pre-treatment is extremely simple. Just dissolve the sample in water and isopropyl alcohol mixed solvent. Then, load 10 microliter of the liquid onto the sample plate. MRM parameters of these compounds need to be established first. A scheduled MRM method is then set up. Detection of every compound needs only 0.1 minutes and the total analysis time for 9 compounds is only as 1 minute. It is truly fast. The second example is to detect a toxin called tetradoxin or TTX in fugu fish. The sample is in solid form from the muscle, skin, liver or ovary of the fish. A special biological sample plate is needed. After placing the sample onto the plate, dripping solvent on top of the sample. For confirmation of tetradoxin, product ion scan mode is adopted to detect the precursor and fragment spectrum. For quantitation, MRM mode is used for higher sensitivity. Here you can see, tetradoxin was detected in muscle, liver, skin and ovary of fish sample by DPIMS. The great advantage is that the tedious conventional sample preparation procedure is not needed. The analysis is simple, fast and reliable.
This example is to screen and quantify 74 pesticides in cucumber by DPIMS 8060. The ionization time used is 250 millisecond and the cycle time is 360 millisecond. The MRM cycle time per compound is 15 millisecond. The total runtime for analysis of 74 pesticide is 1.5 minutes only. Sample preparation involves only extraction and centrifugation, much simpler than SPE or quencher's method. Sample solution mixed with solvent and then 10 ol of the sample is dropped onto the sample plate for analysis. Among the 74 pesticides tested, 27 are analyzed conventionally by GCMS method and 47 by LCMS method. DPIMS has the advantage to analyze all these pesticides of different volatilities. Quantitation method was based on matrix-matched calibration curves and sensitivity for 90% of the pesticides achieved 10 ppb level. Excellence in science. Shimazu.